So now we've talked a lot about this first step in making urine, which is called filtration. So finally, it's time to move on to the next step, which is reabsorption. And if you remember, way back in the beginning, we said that the two main purposes of the kidney, there are a lot, but the two main ones are to, one, excrete wastes and toxins, and two was to regulate the amount of water and salt, we said. We could also say water and electrolytes in the body. Now, excreting wastes is kind of taken care of by filtration. Reabsorption is a little less relevant for excreting wastes because you don't want to reabsorb wastes. You want to get rid of them as much as possible. You may sometimes reabsorb them because you don't have a choice, but you're not going to try to. Whereas regulating water and electrolytes is all about reabsorption because the amount that you filter is far too much. You don't want to excrete the whole quantity that you're filtering here, and so you end up wanting to reabsorb most of it. And if you want to excrete more water or more electrolytes, then you're going to reabsorb a little less. If you want to excrete less water and less electrolytes, you'll reabsorb a little more. So now that we're going to be talking about reabsorption, which happens here in the nephron, it's really going to have to do with this regulation of fluid and electrolytes. And which one are we going to start with? Well, we're going to start with sodium because there's more sodium in the blood than any other electrolyte. 